it's your girl Kira Cachet. Today in this video, I will be unboxing the iPhone 11. Looks like this. It has iPhone touch and 64 gigabyte. Same barcode. And it has finish. And I am with. AT&T for this bag. Um, That's what they put it in. All my accessories. So guys, I did already get everything set up with my iPhone at AT&T already. I just decided to do an unboxing for you guys just so you guys can see how it looks and kind of like get my opinion and review on it. Not really a, a review, but it's more just so you guys can see how I unbox the phone. Phone 11 in purple. Um, and just the regular one, not the iPhone Pro Max or the iPhone Pro. I think it was two different ones, but I just got the regular one because it was a decent size for me. So if you're already an iPhone user, then you know that they always come with the Apple stickers, the manual guide with the hello on it. Like you get like two Apple stickers, the manual guide and, you know, details and stuff like that. It comes with every iPhone. Like I don't think, I don't think Apple's going to ever change that. That's like one thing that I do like about them. They're very courteous and they're just professional with the unboxings and stuff. And it does come with the box piece. Um, you get a pair of headphones as usual with your phone and you also get a new charger cord as well, which I'm probably not going to use for a long time because I have like two good extra ones that I have not used yet from my um, Apple AirPods that I had got. So I'm really pretty much set up with the, the accessories. <laughs> So now that my phone has turned on, I had already put on a wallpaper for my lock screen and my home screen already. Trust the process. I love the nude colors. For some reason, I'm starting to get into that. I'm going to go ahead and go off camera and put in my passcode. Now that's open. Now you can see how the iPhone 11 screen looks. It's just like a regular iPhone, just looks different. And then with this one, because it's my first time, you have to go down for the control center to use your airplane mode and your lock and your volume and your brightening and things of that nature and then when you scroll all the way to the end all your apps have an app library and they're all set in like a set certain category or you can view all of your apps which is kind of cool now because it didn't look like that on the regular ios 13 i think um and you also have this new um update where you can add wit widgets <laughs> talking crazy widgets where you can add them onto your screen and decorate them but I think I would try to do that on another video to show you guys but the back oh my god I just love the purple when I told myself I was going to get the iPhone 11 I wanted the purple one or the white one but they had the purple one in stock so I was happy about that So now for the accessories, which is the best part. I had got a screen protector in two cases. Um, for one of the cases, I had got a regular clear one and then I got a colorful one. Um, they were so cute. One was 35, which is the colorful purple one. And then the regular clear plastic card case was 40. Um, so I got one clear one just if I wanted to show the back of my iPhone 11 back screen or if I just want the colorful one, which I just thought went perfectly since my phone was purple. And then I had got the Lifetime Replacement Program screen protector as well. So if I accidentally drop my phone and the temper glass breaks, I get a free one automatically replaced because I got this Lifetime one with them. So that's good. So I don't have to keep buying or ordering any. And they had already put it on my phone, if you guys didn't notice when I first started the video. And also guys, at t had a special. When you buy two items, you get one free. So I got two cases and one screen protector, which is a good deal. So if you are an at t member, get that. So now I'm going to open up the colorful Karma iPhone 11 case that I got, which is so freaking cute. Like it was just a sign that that was the perfect one for my phone. It had different colors. It was perfect, metallic. 
and it was like the hard rubber case so it's like kind of like you know how you get that sound when it claps on that you know it fits your phone and it's like protecting the sides and the ridges of it I was just like that was the perfect one so I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on my phone and see how it looks My case looks so pretty on this phone. It's just like it just all coordinates. And I still have my clear case if I want to switch it out just to show the whole back of my phone with the purple on it. But I'm going to keep this one on a while just because it coordinates and the color matches perfectly. And um, yeah, I just love it. I'm in love with the shape of it. And then also the camera quality is really good. The new iOS 14 update is pretty cool so far. I have not figured out everything yet, but you can go on the tips app and look up what is new on it. And it kind of tells you what's different than what the last update was. So once I figure it out, I'll probably come back and show you guys how I figured everything out and designing things. I always make a section for just my YouTube just so it's easier for me to move around and edit my videos because I do edit my videos and record on my iPhone. So this was perfect for me to upgrade for new camera quality. So I love this phone. It's just really lightweight. It's pretty. It fits. It's not too heavy. And it, it's the perfect phone for me for my upgrade since having the 8 Plus for two years. <laughs> Overall, I love this phone. I'm so happy I upgraded because it's been two full years that I have not upgraded to a new phone. So I love it and I'm gonna keep this one for a while. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this review. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel and her videos. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!